Today we are looking at an equine skeleton with particular interest in the thoracic limb. We're going to run through the muscles of the thoracic limb, but before we do, let's get oriented. Uh, the yellow structure that we see here is our nuchal ligament with both our funicular and laminar parts. We have the scapula, humerus, radius and ulna and note that in the equine the ulna is not fully developed and is in fact fused to the radius we have our carpal bones we have our metacarpal bones and then we have our long and short pastern and our cannon bone our first muscle that we're going to take a look at is brachiocephalicus and it is comprised of two uh, muscles brachiocephalicus is comprised of Cleidocephalicus and cleidobrachialis. Cleidocephalicus is the dorsal aspect, and the ventral aspect is the cleidobrachialis. They fuse together at the clavicular intersection. Nearby, we have Homo transversarius. Then we have our trapezius muscle, rhomboideus, latissimus dorsi, serratus ventralis. Notice the light red indicating that the muscle is actually attaching to the medial aspect of the scapula. Superficial pectoral and deep pectoral, subclavius, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, deltoid, deltoideus muscle, teres minor, subscapularis, Cracobrachialis, teres major. The triceps, three different heads. We have our long head, we have our lateral head, and we have a medial head. Tensor fascia antibrachii muscle, Anconius biceps brachii muscle with its lacertus fibrosis shown in yellow connecting to extensor carpi radialis. The brachialis muscle, the common digital extensor muscle, the lateral digital extensor muscle, the extensor carpi ulnaris muscle, the extensor carpi obliquus muscle, the flexor carpi radialis muscle, the superficial digital flexor muscle, deep digital flexor muscle, the flexor carpi ulnaris muscle, pronator teres muscle, and interosseous muscle between the splint bones.